All righty, guys. We should be live. We should be live. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. As you can see, guys, I'm not too tech savvy, but let me make sure that you guys can hear me. Let me just double check here. We're going to get started here. All right. If you can, if you're with us there live on Facebook, uh, I want to want you to go ahead and just type in where you're from, where you where, where you're joining us from, so that way we know. And uh, we're getting ready to get started here, guys. I just want to make sure that. Uh, I just want to make sure. OK. All right. Everybody says I'm loud and clear. So I guess you guys can see me. Uh, I can't really see you, but maybe it's better that way. <laughs> so that way I can stay focused here on what it is that uh, that we're saying. Uh, give me just a second. I'm just trying to make sure I cover my basis on the technicality stuff here. <laughs> Woo! Nobody said you had to be perfect to be good, but you got to get started to ever become good. All right, give me just, I just wanna make sure that you guys can hear me. All right, let's see here, let's see here. I wanna make sure, okay, it looks like I'm live. It looks like y'all can hear me, okay. All right, all right, we doing it. My first time, baby! Yeah! <laughs> hey, listen. Listen, don't be laughing at me. Man, you remember your first time. Yes, you do. Man, this is my first time uh, doing the Facebook Live and the Zoom from the computer right here. You know, usually I'm, usually I'm in the car. You know, usually I'm in the car. Anyway, wow, this is a, this is a new experience. Man, I, I thought I hated looking at myself on a cell phone when I was doing the Facebook Lives. Now it's a computer, it's like a whole screen. Wow, look at that, that's a whole lot of me. Woo! I don't know if I, I, don't know if I really like this. I don't really know, but I'll do it for you. If it's gonna serve the people and help the people, I can grind through it, I can grind through it. All right, guys, well listen, if you haven't already done so, you know, say hello to the world. If you, if you, you know, if, you, if you're listening and watching us live, uh, you know, I can't see any of the comments right now. I'm in the office here on the computer. So if you're commenting, if you're saying anything, I can't see it. But I'm sure all the people that are watching, whoever they are, I'm sure they can see it. All right. You ready? Listen, guys, we are going to have some fun tonight. I'm really excited to actually go ahead and share this publicly with everybody. Again, I uh, want to apologize for any of the technicalities that, you know, might have, you know, messed up the first time. But hey, listen, we're here now. We are here now. Hopefully, is my volume coming through clear? Let me just check my phone to make sure. Am I echoing? Somebody send me a text message and let me know that I'm that I'm good. Let me know that all is good. Somebody send me a text real quick because I can't see any of the comments. Only thing I can see is my face on this computer screen. My goodness. Woo! Doing this Facebook Live stuff is tough. This is tough business right here. <laughs> All right, I got the text. All right, thank you much. All right, guys, let's begin. All right, so this here, uh, first of all, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, I want to first of all encourage everyone that's going to watch this to make sure that you watch uh, our income disclosure statement. You can go to worldgn.com for a full income disclosure. We want to make sure that we are fully compliant uh, with, the with the regulations before we get started. Now, with that being said, let me go ahead and uh, let's begin. This Facebook Live, guys, is going to be probably about an hour and a half to maybe two hours, okay? It might be as long as two hours. I'm fully aware that um, from the experts, they say that, you know, anything longer than 10, 15 minutes, whatever it is, you know, people sometimes don't watch it or people won't watch it. Well, I, I beg to differ with this one. Uh, the content that I'm getting ready to reveal, uh, any man or woman that's out there that really, really wants to go to the next level, no games, and they want to learn from a professional, somebody who's really walking the walk, not just talking the talk, I believe you're going to spend two hours and you're going to sit your butt down and you're going to learn something from watching this Facebook Live. If you want it, it's available. Now, let me tell you what else I believe. 
I'm also aware that I'm here on Facebook Live, and I know that uh, I'm making this information public to the masses. So there'll be people that are not in my company that may never join my company that will also be privy to this information. And I'm comfortable with that as well. Uh, I believe that what we make happen for others, I believe God will, will definitely make happen for us. Let me write that down. What you make happen for others, I believe God will make happen for you. So I am not a stingy person. I believe gifts are meant to share, not to keep. The last thing I want to make clear is why is he doing this on Facebook Live? Is he looking for more notoriety? Am I looking for more fanfare? Absolutely not. Trust me, I got a lot of fans and I got a whole lot more at the gate waiting to get in. So I'm not interested in the fanfare. But this seems to be the most the most efficient way to get this message out to the entire organization that we have now which is upwards of almost about 25 to 30,000 people that are in my organization now uh, over the last eight and a half months that I've been here with this company. But also this message right here is also designed to reach uh, over 100,000 plus people that will be joining our organization. Let me say that again. This message tonight is also specifically intended for the 100 thousand plus. Do you hear that? I said a hundred thousand plus people that will be joining the organization uh, throughout throughout time. So this message will also be posted to my YouTube channel once it's done as well. I want to warn you as well, this message is going to be long. It's intended to be long. There is a lot of information that is relevant that I'm getting ready to lay it out, baby. Lay it out. Lay it out. I'm getting ready to lay it out uh, for about an hour and a half or two hours. Now, I want to also say to you this. Um, this message is specifically intended for, again, the people that are in my organization and World Global Network that are currently in my organization now and all of the people that will be joining uh, throughout time throughout the remaining days, months, and years, okay? The last thing I want to go ahead and make uh, adamantly clear is that uh, for those of you that are just becoming aware of me, in other words, maybe this is your first time meeting me. This is Maybe this is your first time seeing me, and, you, and you're probably looking at me, and you're looking at your Facebook Live, and maybe perhaps you're thinking, who is this handsome fella? Who is this guy? Well, they call me Ramasio Fulcher better known as the California kid. That's right, I'm a California baby. I love California, okay? I love people, I love traveling, but I love California. And uh, listen, I like to have fun. So uh, I'm not a person that uh, is uh, shy of showing his emotions or, or just really, really, you know, being comfortable uh, with myself. So you may notice if this is our first time uh, crossing paths, you know, I just look, I just like to have fun. I don't mean any harm, as they say. I come in peace. I come in peace. So I just like to have fun. And so I have a very unique way of teaching and training and, and doing what I do. And, you know, hey, listen, I hope it's your cup of tea. But if it's not, just pass it on down. Somebody can, somebody going to like this tea right here. Woo! Somebody going to like this tea right here. So I just like to have fun. You know, look, some of you, you need to stop taking life so serious. Everybody is not like you. They don't look like you. They don't talk like you. They don't believe what you believe. But diversity is what makes the world so strong. That's what makes this world so amazing. Diversity, baby. You need more diversity in your life. That's what you need. Now, you may notice one thing I want to caution you. You know, I have a very expressive face. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I understand. I know you're probably like, man, is he mad? No, 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 no. I'm not upset with you at all. I just... My face, it just, it just, I guess I use all of the muscles in my face. I use the ones here, here. She, I, she, she, I, I use them all. I use all, all of my muscles in my face. They get used. And so at any given moment, you might see an expression that like, you, you might not understand it. You might like, be like, you might say to yourself, man, what type of expression is that? I, I don't know. It just, they just, they just do what they do. So what I want you to do. What I want you to do is I want you to pay attention to the message. I promise you, now this is where I won't miss a beat. 
Now, you might see a lot of things going on with my hands and my face and voice inflections and all that good stuff. But I promise you, if you'll stay with me in thought, oh, we're going to go far in life. Ooh, we. If you'll stay with me in thought, see, it may look comical. It may look like he's fun in games. It may look like, oh, this guy is just having a party on Facebook. But I dare you to stay with me in thought. You're going to realize, woo, still waters run deep. You're going to realize that I'm much, much more than a party on Facebook. If you stay with me in thought of what I'm actually getting ready to lay out for you or what I'm getting ready to communicate, I promise you, you'll see that this boy, he didn't been in the lab. This boy had been learning some stuff, and he's here to share it with all of you right here on Facebook Live. Listen, I know that we've never met before, but let me tell you something that I believe. I believe I am no better than you. I may be black and you may be a lion or you may be Asian or maybe you might be uh, white or maybe you might be mixed. So what? OK, I am no better than you. You get that? Hey, did you write that down? Write that down. OK, I'm no better than you. And frankly speaking, you are no better than me. But together we can actually help one another. There is something that I can teach you. And I'm sure if I listen and learn, there's something I can learn from you. So what I want you to do for those of you that are going to take the time to spend an hour and a half with me right now on Facebook Live, uh, I, I want you to really get yourself in a place where you can grab uh, some paper and grab a pen. I want you to take some good notes. I promise you this is not a waste of time. This is not a waste of time at all. But I'm very excited to actually make this announcement on Facebook. And uh, I'm very excited for all of you that are watching. And let me just also say this. No matter where you live in your life, I have been broke, so I know what it's like to be broke. Boy, I know what it's like to be broke. It's very suffocating. It's very tight. <laughs> no, I'm not laughing at you. I'm just, I, I'm just rem rem remembering, man, I know what it's like to say, hey, I ain't got it. I'm sorry, man. I ain't got it. I know what that feels like. I have been broke before. I know what that feels like. And I want to just tell you that if something is broke, frankly speaking, you should fix it. And tonight, if you roll with me, tonight, if you stay with me, we're going to fix it. That's right. That's my pledge to you, baby. Whoever you are, whatever your race is, whatever your gender is, whatever religious background, I don't care where you live in the world, if you roll with the California kid, we going to fix it. That's right, baby. Mm, how you like that, huh? How you like that? Anything that's associated, attached to me, I promise you, you will, uh, you will be abundantly blessed with hard work and dedication, okay? I'm not a lottery ticket. I'm not a lottery ticket. We're talking hard work and dedication on a part-time basis. I promise you, baby, we will get to the mountaintop together. That is for sure. Okay. So if you've been broke, I want you to know, listen, my heart longs for you. I listen, I always love to show love to all the broke people out there because I believe that everybody once upon a time was once broke. And if something is broke, frankly speaking, your number one goal in life should be to fix what's broke. That's right. Number two, I'm aware that some of you are watching this video. Maybe you might not watch the whole hour and a half, two hours. Maybe you may not have that type of tension span. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. You're getting ready to miss a whole big feast. You're getting ready to miss a whole lot of information because you sitting there talking about why is he taking so long? Well, listen, if you had this much wisdom inside of you that you was trying to give to people for free, I think you should sit down, get yourself some popcorn and, and relax and take a few notes. Maybe you might learn something. Hmm. Now, how about that? Yes. So listen, when, when, with this type of wisdom that's going to be spot on the money, listen, I, I, look, it's going to take some time. So if I'm going to spend an hour and a half, uh, two hours of my time to give it to you because we've never met. But guess what? I care about your future. I really do. I really do want to see you win if you want to win. I really do want to help you if you really do want to be helped. OK, then listen, let's go ahead and invest some time together. Ooh, that's so deep. That's so profound. Okay? If you don't invest time, you'll never get the harvest of anything. Oh, my goodness. 
He's already started dropping bombs. There he goes again. See, I never know what's going to come. It just rolls out. It's in there. It's like ragu sauce, baby. I paid a dear price for this stuff. Dear price. So listen. Man, sometimes I crack myself up. I, I'm telling you, man, it's comical. Man, I'm telling you, if I don't make it in this profession, I think I'm going to do stand-up comedy. How y'all think I would do? I, I, I don't know if I can mess with Kevin Hart. I don't know, but I, I think I can make a run at it. I think I can. I think I got at least a two-year run. Maybe, maybe I might. <laughs> I think I got at least a two-year run in me. Maybe two years, right? Maybe not. I probably couldn't do it for 20, 10 years, but two years? I got a two-year run in me. I think I got a two-year. But anyway, back to what I was saying, guys. Hey, listen. Invest the time tonight. I promise you. I like to have fun with people. As you can tell, I love people. I really do. I really, 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 really do. But I want you to know this. Listen, if you're not willing to invest the time, then you don't deserve the harvest. I promise you this is I'm not here to sell you pins. I'm not here to sell you cupcakes. I'm not here to sell you. I don't have there's no place for you to swipe a credit card. So let's get that clear. This is free value that I'm giving you. Did you catch that? Free 99, free. This is free value just for you. And I know this is going to, this is going to tremendously enrich your entire life if you are ready. Now, there's two more disclaimers I want to give before we begin. The first thing I want to tell you, if this is your first time watching me, there is a video that I have done. It's on YouTube. It's called Exactly How I Did It. It's another two-hour video. Uh, many people have questioned me and they ask me all the time, how in the world did you pay $1,300 to join this company eight months ago? And how in the world have you produced these results in just eight and a half months? How did you do that? Well, instead of, you know, thousands of people asking me the same question over and over again, what I did is I took it upon myself to produce a video sitting in, uh, 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 sitting in my car and it's a two hour video. It's on uh, YouTube. Exactly how I did it. Now, I want to underline the word exactly. I would dare you, the new person, whoever you are, uh, whatever organization you're part of, it doesn't matter to me. It would, I would dare you to go and watch that video. That video will serve you very, very well. I mean, I broke it down exactly what you're going to have to do from the mentality to the actual work and the execution. I broke it all down of how I did it. And specific, specifically talking about what I've done, I've produced some pretty incredible results. I have to honestly say that I'm not being arrogant or anything like that, but I'm very proud of what I have been able to accomplish. I've worked very hard and um, it happened very fast. And I'm not here saying that you're gonna get rich quick. I'm not, this is not a get rich quick scheme. That's not what this is. But uh, let me ask you a question. Have you ever tried to get rich slow? How's that been working for you? <laughs> so I sure hope this is a lot faster than that. And it is. It is for sure. But again, it does come with a price you have to pay. And I have paid that price and I would pay it five times again. And if you really want to know what my main message is to all that are listening is I want to encourage you to pay the price, baby. Pay the full price. It is so worth it. Whoa, it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm not talking about the money. The money is great, but I'm talking about the person you become, the lives that you transform, the people you impact, the friends you meet. I mean, the, even the pitfalls, that, I mean, the ups and the downs, man, I count it all joy. I count it all joy. It's so much better than a job. It's so much better than a small business. And I'm going to substantiate that and validate that as we go through what I'm about to lay out here for you in a minute but it's better. But I also want to give this disclaimer. Network marketing, ladies and gentlemen, is not perfect. Let's get this clear. The best thing about this profession is the people. Uh, the worst thing about this profession is the people. <laughs> the best and the worst is the people. And I got to be honest with you, this is a personal development program that uh, has a compensation plan attached to it. It's a personal development program with a compensation plan attached to it, okay? And so as you stick in there and you continue to go through the process, now just because you 
stay a part of your company does not guarantee you any type of results. There's no uh, hidden print that says if you stay in for a year, two, three, four, five, or six, or seven, that you're guaranteed the promised land. There's no, that's not true at all. It's not true at all. But if you do pay the price, if you follow the plan on a consistent basis, on a part-time basis, absolutely, absolutely, you will get to where you're trying to go. Absolutely. If you follow the plan, if you follow the plan, when I talk about the plan, I'm specifically talking about the personal development that is necessary. Let me explain to you really quick before we begin what personal development really means to me. Many people think personal development means reading a thousand and one books, listening to a thousand different audio tapes and all that type of jazz. And I beg to differ. I beg to, just because you read more books and you listen, you excuse me, and you listen to more audios does not mean all of a sudden, oh, you're personally developed. All that means is you're just more informed. You just got more information in your head. But just because you have the information in your head does not necessarily mean the transformation is going to happen for you. The transformation will only take place when you apply the information. This is why we, we, there's, there's a cliche in our profession that I would much rather have an ignorant person that is on fire than an intelligent person that's on ice. Ooh, nothing, nothing. Better get that one. Okay. I would much rather have an ignorant person. And I mean, that means somebody who doesn't know what they don't know, but they're just, they're just, you know, on fire, right? I'd much rather have that than an intelligent person who knows this and, oh yeah, I know that. I read that book. I read that. Oh yeah. I read the four agreements. Oh, I read that book. I, I read John Maxwell. I read Eric Worre. I, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I love Tony Robbins. Oh, I love Brian Tracy. Oh, I, I love Jim Rohn. Oh my God. That's my favorite. Oh my, oh my God. That's my favorite. Oh, 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 that's my favorite verse. I, I can't stand that. I, that just really, that just really chaps my hide. If you know what I mean? I just can't stand it. You know, they, 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 they read all the books. They, 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 they got more degrees than a thermometer. They've been to every course, every class in the world, but nothing has changed in their life. Well, let me tell you, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So just because you read, you attend seminars, you listen to CDs, all this stuff, does not necessarily guarantee you the results that you're desiring. That's not true. It's not until you apply the information that you read, the information that you hear, it's not until you apply it that you can begin to expect the transformation to take place, okay? I want to make sure we're very clear on that. Now, in saying all of that, hear me well, ladies and gentlemen, network marketing by far is the most efficient way to move any product or service in the world today. The reason for that is because of one sentence, word of mouth. Word of mouth marketing is more effective, uh, it's more effective and efficient because of one word, trust. There's trust between you and your colleagues, you and your friends, okay? And because of that, that's what's allowing this profession to be growing faster than the world economy. Did you write that down? Did you hear me? If you wanna challenge what I'm saying, I dare you to look it up. Network marketing is growing faster, percentage-wise, than the world economy today. More and more business owners and business people are realizing the power of network marketing, or some people are calling it affiliate marketing and all these fancy names. But basically, anytime you refer a product or a service to someone else, that is what we talk about. You know, that, that's word of mouth advertising. That's word of mouth. That's the most efficient means of moving a product or service in the world today. That's bar none. That's a fact. Now, I want to be very clear. I am not saying that network marketing is the only way to market a product or service. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying pound for pound, it by far is the most efficient. Okay? So because of that, that is why you're seeing so many average ordinary people 
that are doing extraordinary results. And I happen to be one of them. Okay. I happen to be one of them. This is why you're seeing more wealth come from network marketing than any other profession in the world. This is why you're seeing more six figure females, six figure income earners per year. We have more six figure uh, uh, female income earners per, per year than any other profession on the planet earth. We also have more millionaires being birthed in this profession than any other profession in the world. We also have more people making an extra two, three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars a month than any other profession in the world. Yes, I'm very passionate about that. Did you see that? Okay. I don't apologize for that. Why? Because many of you that are watching this video right now, you are struggling financially. Some of you are dead broke, while others of you are living paycheck to paycheck. I have been in both places. I'm not there no more. Did you hear me? I have left that room. I am no longer in that room. I have been broke and I have been paycheck to paycheck. So I am the messenger. Hello. How does he look? I am the messenger here tonight to share and to talk with you. Now, get you some popcorn, sit down, get you some paperwork, get a pen, and let's get to know one another. I promise you, everything I say is factual. So if you want to look it up and challenge me, go right ahead. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. So in this conversation, I'm right, and you are still trying to catch up. That's how this is going to go, okay? I don't apologize. I know what I'm talking about. I'm here to help you. So whether you're broke or you're paycheck to paycheck or you're time poor, I believe that network marketing is your answer. When you have people like Tony Robbins endorsing the profession, uh, uh, Sir Richard Branson, uh, who's publicly telling the world that he believes network every product should be uh, sold through network marketing. You've got whether you're a Trump fan or not. I'm not here to, you know, cast, you know, I don't care about all that. But but Trump is actually behind it. Uh, also, you've got I mean, I can go on and on and on and on and on and on. Robert Kiyosaki, we have billionaire after billionaire after billionaire that is fully uh, engaged in endorsing network marketing. OK, they understand word of mouth is more efficient. OK, they get that. It's just more efficient. It cuts out the middleman and it takes the same amount of money that a company was going to spend in their marketing endeavors. We take those dollars and we put it in the commission plan and we pay that out in the form of commissions to people like you and I that are simply making referrals on a daily basis. Now, let me share with you before we begin in my, my main message here tonight, I want to share with you why I want you to understand whoever you are. I want you to understand why is it? That network marketing, you got so many people making incredible income. Now, I want to be clear. We do have a lot of people in this profession who don't make a lot of money. Hell, we've got people in this profession that don't make any money. Let's get that clear. Let's tell the truth. I'm a professional. We have a lot of people in this profession that don't make any money at all. There's two reasons why. Okay? Well, actually, there's three. The first reason why we have a lot of people that don't make any money. Now, remember, I've been involved in this thing for 10 years. You know, obviously, I've done quite well for myself, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But the first reason why is many people that join a network marketing company, they buy the product. Okay, I'm just going to use this for an example. This is not the product that I market. This one is. But, but I want to just use this for an example. They buy the products because we, we do. We have really good products in our profession. The products are just, in many cases, they're just flat out better than what's on the market. It's just That's just the truth. Okay, and you can look it up for yourself to find that to be true. So people, they, they buy the product, and the reason why they buy it is because they like it, but they buy it at the wholesale price versus retail. If you had a chance to buy the, 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 the drink at wholesale, which one would you prefer, wholesale or retail? Obviously, most people would prefer wholesale. You get it at a cheaper price. Well, in our profession, when someone buys the product at the wholesale price, according to the regulatories, uh, we have to consider that person as a distributor. Now, watch this. You've got millions of people 
that will buy the product at the wholesale price, but they never intended on being a distributor and distributing anything. They just liked the product, wanted it at wholesale, but according to the regulatories, we have to include them or lump them into the numbers as a distributor. So what that does is you have all of these people that are, are, that are called quote unquote distributors, but they're not distributing anything, therefore they're not making any money. So the first reason why we have a lot of people that aren't making any money is number one, the way that they're classified, in my opinion, is not necessarily fair. But according to the regulatory agencies, that's the way it has to be done, so be it. The second reason why we have a lot of people that don't make any money is really simple. If they don't do anything, <laughs> they don't do anything. It's just really simple. You see, one of the things that I hate about this profession is I hate, I frankly hate how inexpensive it is to join this profession. I hate that. I, I'm just going to be honest and tell the whole world. Typically, you can join a network marketing company or a direct selling company as a distributor for less than a couple thousand dollars. Now, look, I've been a business owner my entire life since I was 18 years old. I'm 39 years old now. And I have never been able to start a business, any business, for under $2,000. That's just out of the question, right? But here in network marketing, you can do that. Now you say, obviously the positive parts about that is that it's very inexpensive. That's certainly positive, of course. You know, the company will train you and they'll ship all the product and you don't have to do any shipping and receiving. You don't have to do any of that stuff. And, that, and that's obviously a positive. But the negative, let me tell you the negative. The negative to paying so little to start a business is that typically those people won't treat the business serious. Let me give you an example. In our world today, I think we all could agree that most people will treat something in accordance with how much money they paid for it. Most people will treat something, uh, you know, in accordance with how much they paid for it. So if they paid very little, they tend to say, well, I don't need to go to the training. I don't need any training. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do that because they don't have very much skin in the game. But if we were to reverse it, and if, if we charge you 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 to, to, to get involved, I promise you, you'd be at every training uh, that there was. You'd probably be, you know, the top of the class, right? Right. And so the second reason why people don't make any money, frankly speaking, they don't do anything. And I don't feel bad about that. If you don't do anything, you don't deserve anything. This is not a get rich quick scheme. It's just not. This is not a lottery ticket. This is a real profession, okay? This is a real profession. Last year, this profession, network marketing as a whole, did approximately $180 billion of revenue. That is huge. That's bigger than the NBA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, Major League Baseball. That's bigger than the movie industry. That's that bigger than the music industry. That's gigantic. I said $180 billion of revenue in the last 12 months and approximately 42%, let's just round it up. Let's just call it 50%. 50% approximately, okay, was paid out in commission. So we're talking about $90 billion in commissions was paid out in the last 12 months. If you break that down, guys, that's $200 million per day in commissions that are being paid out for simply, for simply, sharing some information with people. None of us are doctors. None of us are lawyers. We're not scientists. Nobody's going to the moon. <laughs> All we're doing is sharing information with people. And how do we share the information? I want the world to know this. The way that we do that is we share the information through videos, okay? Now, I'm going to talk about my company in just a moment. Uh, obviously, I'm extremely biased. We'll get to that in a moment. But, 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 but the way that we share the information, we do it through videos. Typically, there's a short video from a company about a product and or an opportunity that we'll send to a friend or a colleague or whomever. They'll watch the video and one of three things will happen. They will say yes to the product. I'm interested. I like what I saw. I'd like to try it. I'd like to buy it. OK, so they'll say yes to becoming a customer or they'll say they'll say no to the product at all. They'll say, no, I'm not interested in that product. Uh, 
or they'll say, you know what, maybe I've got some questions. I am interested in knowing more about the product and the opportunity. Uh, I'd like to maybe learn more about this opportunity. I would like to, you know, make some extra income from home. I'd like to, you know, try that out or see what that's like. So one of three things will happen once you share the videos. Yes, no, or they'll say maybe. That's really it. Seriously, guys. I mean, just call it a spade a spade. In essence, that's what we do in this profession. Now, throughout your tenure in this profession and through your and from your tenacity and your hard work and dedication, you can decide to get better at the skills, okay, of sharing the information. Now, I want to go ahead and cover one of the major cliches. We are in, uh, this is sales. I do want to be honest and forthright about that. We are in the selling profession, okay? Yes, this would be classified, this is sales, because if nothing gets sold, if somebody don't buy, if somebody don't buy something, nobody, nobody makes any money. So yes, this is sales, okay? Now, but listen to what I'm about to say next. Amateurs that do this profession, now, everybody who's watching me, okay, understand that in any profession, you have amateurs and you have professionals. On your job, wherever you are, wherever you work, whether it's a business or a job, there are people that are amateurs and there are people that are professionals. Let me give you the difference. The amateurs in our profession, they spend all of their energy trying to sell customers and sell people on buying the product or the service that they market. They spend all of their energy trying to sell. What do I mean about selling? I mean things like, hey, Mrs. Jones, let me tell you about all the features and benefits about this thing and why you should buy it. Let me tell you why you should have it because it's going to do this. It's going to do that. It's going to do that. And listen, listen very carefully to me. Everyone in our world today, you included, you included, we all love to buy stuff, but no one likes to be sold. So the whole selling uh, concept or the selling bravado in network marketing does not work. Listen carefully. This is profound, what I'm about to teach you. Let's suppose you are a good salesman or you are a good saleswoman. And let's suppose, let's just use these, uh, these, these drinks right here. I love to drink this, this, this Celsius, okay? Uh, and let's say you were very good at selling these, okay? Well, good for you. Let me tell you something. You're only going to make a little bit of money by doing that. I hope you catch this. You're only going to make a little bit of money by going around trying to sell people individually on why they should buy this product. You're only going to. Now, let me explain why you're only going to make a little bit. Because let's assume you're a very good salesman and you can you have what they call the gift of gab. Or let's say that you, you, you can spread peanut butter with your tongue. That's how smooth you are, right? Here's the problem with that. And write this down. This is very profound. I'm trying to teach you why uh, those of us that are just winning at an all-time high, I want to I get you to understand why, okay? Because I believe once you get this, you're going to be so compelled by this that you're going to say, okay, i got to get involved in this. I've got to pair myself with the right people because this, there's something I'm missing. Okay, listen why. Okay. So let's say if you're a good salesperson, the only reason why you'll make a little bit of money from selling people is because what you're doing is not duplicatable. It's not duplicatable. So yeah, you've explained all the features and the benefit to that particular customer and they like it and they chose to buy it. But the reason why that customer most likely will never want to do what you did to them because even though they bought it from you, they're subconsciously thinking, I can't do what she just did. I can't do that. That's not my personality. I don't sound like that. I don't act like that. That is just not my cup of tea. So as a result, even though you run around town making all these sales, you don't make a lot of money because there's no duplication in your organization. Did you catch that? In other words, in network marketing, direct sales, if you don't duplicate, you will not elevate. I want to be very crystal clear with this, guys. If you don't duplicate, you will not elevate. So the biggest difference about why 
uh, this profession is so lucrative and so fun, once it's done properly, a traditional small business owner will never catch a successful, thriving network marketing organization from an income standpoint. Let me say that again. A traditional small business owner of any kind will never catch a thriving, done right, successful network marketing organization. It's one word. It's not because the man running the traditional business owner is less than the network marketer. No, no, no. There's one reason why the small traditional business owner will never catch a thriving, successful network marketing organization. Here's why. One reason. The network marketing organization has maximum leverage while the small business owner does not. Let me say that again. The network marketing organization that's thriving has maximum leverage. I want to clearly define that tonight. I want to clearly break that down for you. Okay. What do we mean? You see, in network marketing, when someone says yes to the product and yes, I want to you know, be a distributor part time basis. That is another quote unquote franchise that has now just opened up. And that franchise has no geographical limitations to where they can market that product or service to. Anywhere in the world is fair game for them to create sales. Did you hear me? Did you understand me? Okay. So once again, the network marketing organization has maximum leverage. That means as I share it with Bob and he says yes, and he shares it with Sarah and she says yes, and she shares it with Paul, that's instantly three franchises, three stores that have just opened up with an online store, we call it online stores, where they have an online presence where they can sell to anyone in the entire world. So with that type of speed, now what creates the speed is simply sharing the video. When you share the little video, that eliminates the salesmanship of you having to run your mouth and explain all the, pro the, the, the pros and cons of the features and benefits, it eliminates all of that. So now the customer that you shared the video with, they're saying to themselves, oh, I can do what you did to me. I can do that. That is doable, says Mrs. Jones, says Johnny. That's doable. So now do you understand why the network marketing thriving organization that's done right, it, 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 it builds much faster. It propels way faster than a traditional business, way faster. Wait, look at me. It's been almost nine months, and I'm not here to brag. I'm just giving you the facts, okay? There's almost almost about 30,000 people almost in the organization. Now, I'm not here to say all 30,000 are promoting the business and you know doing it every single day. No, I'm not naive enough to believe that. Of course not. But watch this. What if those 30,000 people that are a part of my organization, 30,000 customers and distributors, what if they just worked one hour, one hour this week? That means that I have the, uh, the ability to earn an income from 30,000 30, hours of productivity. Am I making sense to anybody out there? If I am, if you're watching me on Facebook or wherever you are, I can't see your comments right now. Just drop a one if any of this is resonating with you. Is any of this getting through to you? Okay. If 30,000 people in my group just work one hour part time for the week, that's 30,000 hours of production that I just got paid on. That's just this week. Now, what happens if they all bring one, which I, they won't, they won't, but let's just for simple math, say if they brought one, that's 60,000 hours the next week. I'm not bragging. I'm trying to get through your thick skull, okay? 
<laughs> I've got two hours and here it is. You're sitting in front of me and you got 40, 50 years of concrete in front of me. You know, stubbornness. Come on now. We all know we all can be stubborn, myself included. So that's why I said this is going to take some time. We got to got to got to start with the edges first. Right. Got to start with the corners. And I'm gonna, then we're going to do a little little cutting over there. Little, you know, I'm sure by the time we're done, we might not get the whole wall down. <laughs> but I'm sure we'll get a little chip. I'm sure we can get a little little chip, a little chip. If you just give us a couple and give us give us some time, we can get a little chip. OK, come back for more, get a little bit more, a little bit more. My point, guys, this is this profession is absolutely on fire. Every man, woman, no matter who you are, listen, you've got to, you, you've got to take a deeper look at this. You just do. You, you, you have, I hate to say it this way, uh, if you really understand your life and your financial situation and so forth, it, it's not very many choices that you have, to be honest with you. Either you're going to be an employee and there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with being an employee. I understand, you know, there are some good jobs out there, but let's face it, it's very difficult for all of us to to live the lives, you know, for our families that we ultimately we want to live uh, when we're pretty much building someone else's dream. It's just very difficult to do. Specifically with technology today, it's eliminating a lot of jobs, a lot. I don't know if you're paying attention, but you should be, okay? A lot of jobs are being eliminated thanks to technology. Again, technology has, has, has found a way to be more efficient, so therefore they don't need the manpower don't need the pay, extra payroll, don't need the extra, you know, the extra overhead, all the extra costs that come with that. So technology has now sped things up drastically. OK, so you got to pay attention to what's happening in our world. If you don't, you'll get lost in the sauce. OK, so this is important. So uh, now to start a small business, typically that takes a lot. That takes money. Most people don't have the money. So by default, they're already omitted. They're automatically omitted. They can't afford it. OK, so then where does that leave you that again, that's why you find some of the wealthiest people in the world all chanting network marketing, network marketing, network marketing. Now, let me cover the third and final reason why. Why um, people don't make money in network marketing. I told you the first reason they never intended to. They just wanted to be a customer. OK, the second reason they don't do anything. And then the third reason is poor training. Hmm. Yes, this business is no different than any other business. You have to be careful with who you decide to partner with. Who? See, one of the other things I hate about network marketing is there's no qualifications to get in. So technically speaking, you can be from Yale or jail and you could sign up as a distributor or a customer. There's no background check here. Now, Obviously, you know, the positive parts of that is I like that because it gives people that has a, that have a prior record. It gives them a second chance. And I love that. I flat out freaking love that. I love it. But on the other flip side of that, there's no there's no there's no there's no qualifications to get in. So when you have no qualifications, that means you have a lot of people who are literally just fake running their mouth and just talking to a good game. But they can't teach you really anything. Let me prove it. I can't say any names. The other day I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw um, this was not in my company, <laughs> but I saw an interview being done. I won't say if it was a man or a woman. I don't want to say any of that by a person that I know. I actually know this individual. And this person was being uh, 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 talked about as though they were an expert in network marketing, an expert. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I know this guy. I know him. I know his personal financial situation right now. And I'm saying, holy moly, this guy is on uh, uh, live social media being interviewed as though he's a network marketing expert. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, what in the hell have he ha, have you built? Man, I wouldn't follow you to the restroom, let alone do a business with you. That that really bothers me. That really bothers me. It really bothers it really does. I want to be honest. It, it does. It bothers me. Because you're playing with people's lives. You're playing with people's lives. 
And I have no respect for that. I mean, you see my face, you see that, you see that, you see that, right? That's that, that's that ground. That's that, you know, don't, don't, I don't like that. I really, that, you, I, I, yeah, 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 GT, I'm starting to stutter. GT, I'm stuttering. <laughs> because that really, it really bothers me, guys. It really, it really upsets me. Because I don't like phony people. I don't. Just say you don't know. Say you don't know. I don't, I don't like, I don't like the whole, uh, what they call it, uh, fake it till you make it. No, heck no. Fake it till you make it. I, no, I, I disagree. No, don't ever fake it till you make it. Now, you can faith it till you make it. Yes, I believe in faith, F-A-I-T-H, but I don't believe in F-A-K-E. No, no, don't be faking nothing. No, because you lying. You lying. You fake. You a phony. I'm calling you out. I don't care what company you in. You know? You know, and here it is, you're trying to teach people how to make $10,000 a month and you don't even make that. Oh, you can't do that. No, no. Calm down, boss. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Me woosa. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right. So you can tell I don't like fake people. I don't. I don't. I don't like that. I don't respect it. I don't honor it. I don't tolerate it. I don't. So there's nothing wrong with telling the truth. The truth is more than enough. We all, once upon a time, were broke. Nothing wrong with being broke if you're trying to fix it, baby. There ain't nothing wrong with being broke if you're trying to fix it, okay? There is something wrong with being broke and you're trying to perpetrate. I don't, I don't have no respect of that, okay? So anyway, those are the three reasons why people uh, don't make any money in network marketing, okay? Once again... They never intended to. They just want to be a customer of the product. Number two, they don't do anything. And number three, poor training, poor training. And so for those of you that are watching this Facebook Live that are not a part of our company or, or our organization, I want you to, to, be, to be mindful of the three uh, pitfalls that I just talked about. Okay, be, be mindful of the three reasons why people don't make any money in network marketing. Now, let me give you the positive thing to be excited about. This is what I love about network marketing. You don't have to do any of the training if you pair yourself with a great team, a great team that is thriving, that's growing. You, my friend, you don't have to do any of the training because the organization that you're a part of, they will train the people for you and you get paid from all of that. So that's really nice to know you don't have to be this quote unquote expert because you have experts in your upline lineage that are really good at that. If you are a part of a thriving, I want to underline the word thriving, successful network marketing organization, which again puts more homework on you at the beginning in terms of who you choose to partner with. This is critical. Yes, it is. It is critical. I'm not saying that the person that you choose to partner with will guarantee your success. That's not true. It's your responsibility to build your business, but the person or team that you partner with does and can make it a whole lot easier for you to win. They've typed up all the documents. They do all the trainings in most cases. They know all the information you don't know. They just, they make it so much easier for you to win. There's no way I could have had the success that I've been able to have in network marketing if I did not consistently choose to partner with the right people. I, if there's anything I can echo or I can scream at you, you, whoever you are, whoever you are out there, you must Make sure it's like choosing a mate to marry. It's the same thing. You must make sure you choose the right partner because in any successful partnership, each of you are supposed to add, each of you are supposed to add to the partnership. Each of you, each of you, you, the new person, the main thing that you can add is your work ethic. The person you're partnering with has wisdom from their experience of how to make the money you want to make, what pitfalls to stand clear of, how to do it with the best way. I mean, they, they have, you know, wisdom. 
that they can teach you to make that boat go faster, okay? So drop a one if this is making sense to you. This is very important, okay? Now, um, I am not a perfect leader, so I, I, I don't want you looking at me thinking that, hey, that I don't have any cracks in my, in, 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 in my walls. No, I'm not a perfect leader. I make mistakes all the time. I think the difference between myself and many other leaders, I will own my mistakes. I am not afraid to say, I'm sorry, I've made a mistake. Please forgive me. Leaders aren't perfect. We're not perfect. I just want to be authentic. I just want to be real. Okay. That, that, that's all I, you know, really, really expect of myself is just to be real with the people. That's it. Okay. So I wanted to really, really get that across to those of you that are listening. And I know that we, we've spent, you know, uh, you know, we spent, you know, quite a bit of time so far already. And hopefully you've been enjoying this if, if, you, if, you're, if you're with us so far, okay? But uh, what I want to do, let me just go ahead and check Facebook real quickly here, see what some of the comments are looking like here real quickly. Uh, let, me just, let, me just, let me just pause for a little station identification here real quickly here. Let, let me just take a look here, see what's happening here on Facebook here. Okay, drop a one if this information is making sense. Can somebody uh, post how long have we been going? How long have we, how much, how long have we been, we've been talking here on Facebook real quick. Somebody just, I want to see how long we've been going so far. Okay, 58 minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so, uh, all right. Okay, uh, I've got a question. I need some help from all of you that are watching me right now. I'm getting ready to, uh, uh, we're getting ready to come to the climax of the call. This is what I really wanted to talk about, what I'm getting ready to, to announce and, 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 and declare and talk about right now. Um, so basically we're starting one hour into the call and I'm finally getting to the main climax that I really wanted to get to. But before I do this live on Facebook live here, I've got a question and I'm going to need an answer of some feedback from you guys. Is there a way that after this, this session is done, that this can be edited? In other words, we're, we're getting ready to start right now at the one hour mark. Is there a way Somehow, because I'm not a techie person at all, I'm not technical, I want to take this next hour of what I'm about to start saying, and I want it to be um, separated from this, this, you know, this, 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 this two hour lumped together session. I want, in other words, I want people to be able to hear what I'm about to say now for the next 60 minutes. I want them to be able to just, can we, is there a way you can edit this clip? Uh, for just these 60 minutes here so that people can listen to the first half and or they can listen to the second half. Because what I'm about to say right now is major. This is major. So I, I need to know, uh, if, if is that possible? Somebody give me some feedback, please, via text message or here on Facebook Live. I'll wait for the feedback before I begin. Or is it a better idea for me to, to end this broadcast right now and then start a new one 
in like 60 seconds. Which one is better? Somebody help me out, please. Give me just a second, guys. Okay, so, so stop. Okay, so I'm being told that I should stop and start it. Okay, so, so here's what we're going to do, guys. Listen, I'm going to go ahead and stop this broadcast right now um i'm gonna stop it right now and then i'm gonna be back on in 45 seconds i just want to stop this one so this one will be officially in the queue good to go and then we're going to start the next one which is the one that i can't wait to get to i can't wait to it okay so let me figure out how to stop this <laughs> ah, my first time i'm gonna figure it out believe in me baby all right i'm gonna end this in the meeting